live from the Journal Broadcast Group Studios. KMTV Action 3 News, live at 10. All five Garcia quintuplets are at home resting with mom and dad tonight. They fought hard in the hospital the past few weeks. Now the Garcias are looking forward to an exciting, busy life at home. 50 little fingers, 50 little toes. The cries and coos of newborns. Oh, it's a surprise. Yeah, we never expected this many. <laughs> Bianca Garcia was due on October 17th. The five babies came July 25th. The heaviest one weighed in at just two pounds, six ounces at birth. Slowly, doctors have been discharging them from the NICU at Methodist Women's Hospital. When we brought the first three home, we went through four bags of diapers in a week. Mom and dad say it takes about an hour to feed the babies, and they're lucky to have a few helping hands, including two big brothers. I'm barely getting sleep. Bianca says she has each face memorized, but the babies wear bracelets so dad, the brothers, and others can keep track of the four girls and one boy. Today, they needed a lot of arms for carrying and more than one car to make the trek from Omaha to Sioux City, Iowa. We brought friends that we still need more room. We don't all fit in the minivan. Mara, Cristobal, Arleth, Jimena, and Rosalyn, all out of the hospital and now in the care of two proud parents. We just wanted to get here, get her, and, you know, go home because we've been here a long time. <laughs> Believe it or not, the Garcias have also been in the process of moving. Money is tight, so they have set up a donation fund. We have information about that on our website, kmtv.com. And Jim, of course, a lot of people wanting to know health-wise. They say the doctors said they'd have to come back for checkups, but mm -hmm. babies are doing pretty well. So, Good. Good yeah, so adorable. Yeah. So many kids. Yep. <laughs> we do have uh, some rain to talk about, Jen. Okay. And it's going to be a long night, but a happy one for this Sioux City, Iowa family. Five babies, finally home under one roof. That's next. More complete coverage. This is KETV News Watch 7 at 10 with Rob McCartney, Brandy Peterson. Your Weather Now forecast with Chief Meteorologist Bill Ranby and sports with Andy Kendi. This is KETV News Watch 7 at 10. You're about to meet a mom and dad in pure survival mode. The Garcia quintuplets are all out of the hospital and home tonight all together for the first time. Here's KETV News Watch 7's Melissa Fry. Order. Mara, Cristobal, Arlet, Jimena, and Rosaline. You don't ex ever expect to have this many and just, you know, like you said, having one is hard enough, you know. It, I don't know. I just take it day by day, I guess. Long days ahead for Bianca and Jose Garcia, changing and feeding five newborns at a time. Each time, probably, probably up a good hour. Mom thinks she'll go through eight bags of diapers a week. And sleep? What sleep? Do they cry a lot? Yeah. Really? I'm barely getting sleep. Big brothers ages seven and nine are great help, and the babies are relatively healthy. Dr. Brady Kerr credits the team at Methodist Women's Hospital that worked to keep mom pregnant as long as she was. Without um, this uh, mother, Bianca, getting to 28 weeks, the babies wouldn't have had nearly as good an outcome as they, as they have. All five can eat and breathe on their own and settle in a car seat, but how to handle them each and every day? The only thing I'm thinking right now, you know, how they're going to do when they go home. Melissa Fry, KETV Newswatch 7. Best of luck. And hey, get this. If mom and dad want to take all seven kids somewhere, they have to take two minivans. Wow, it's like a little convoy. That's right. You imagine that. Bill, seven, that's your favorite number. It is, but not my favorite temperature, as uh, we well know. Going forward, we'll be seeing that, I'm sure. From Omaha's only hour of primetime news, this is the Fox 42 News at 9. First, we all know cute little babies cost a whole lot of money. Now try multiplying that by five. We'll tell you just how much multiple bundles of joy will cost one family. Kids cost a lot. Then multiply that by five and you'll see how much it's going to cost a Sioux City couple to raise its new quintuplets. 
The babies were born two months early and were all finally released from Methodist Women's Hospital today. Fox 42's Leah Uko spoke with the parents about the challenges they are now preparing for that they have a family of nine. This is the amount of food a family with, let's say, two kids would buy to feed everyone for two weeks. Multiply all of this by five. That's what this couple will be spending for at least the next 18 years. And that's a big financial challenge. But mom and dad say, bring it. Getting them in and out of the car is a hassle. So, <laughs> you know, I know bringing two more is going to be more work. But, I mean, it's all worth it. When the first three babies were able to come home, Jose and Bianca Garcia went through four bags of diapers in one week. That's roughly $100 a week. And now the last two babies are home. So the couple will spend about $170 a week just on diapers. But that's not their biggest concern. I would say trying to feed them would be the, you know, so you don't want your kids to starve. Friends help feed the two older brothers so the family can put money, time, and effort into helping the quintuplets grow. For a family of nine, seven who need food constantly because they are growing rapidly, that can be about $1,000 or more every two weeks. You know, just kind of have to take it day by day. You don't ex ever expect to have this many. The parents say the cost of clothing hopefully won't be a lot with help from friends, families, and consignment stores. Getting them dressed was probably an hour. <laughs> Thankfully, the older two boys, they, they help a lot. Dad shows no worries. His only concern right now is driving the whole family two hours to get home to Sioux City. Just have him settle, feed him. You know, right now there are just inches. And since, you know, they can only be in the car seat for so long. And the family will also spend more money on gas. You just saw it as a van that seats seven, but there are nine people now which means family trips will have to start being taken in two cars. From the Bucky's gas station on 40th and Dodge, Leah Uko, Fox 42 News. If you'd like to help out the Garcia family, you can donate. The fund has been established with Wells Fargo. That account is Garcia Family Benefit Donation Fund.